Hello everybody, Quad Nine's back with a uh, Shadows Over the Innistrad box opening, but it's not normal, it's Korean. So I will not be able to read most of the cards, so there's that. Uh, I still know what the Mythics are, so, you know, good thing there. Uh, really, just um, looking for some shiny Mythics, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we get some good stuff here. If not, at least some stuff I might can trade into things I want. But it's fun opening packs. That's what I like doing. So that's what we're going to do. Probably, obviously, just going to maybe skip to the uncommons. Uh, and then probably not even pronounce them because, you know, it's Korean. I don't, I don't speak Korean. So... Okay, we got, uh, not sure what that one is. It can pump your team, give them skulk, enchantment, uh, gibbering devil, something like that. Hey, bound by moon silver. Didn't know that one. And the, yeah, the spirit that, uh, makes more spirits, I think. Yep. Curse witch, a first full, which has the thing that gives you reach and plus two, plus two. You like that? The thing that gives you reach and plus two, plus two. That's the technical term. Well, that is what it does, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, Scary zombie guy that uh, bounce something to your hand if you control a zombie, they discard a card. Go get an ore or equipment. No clue, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. And, ooh, uh, Flame Blade Angel. I think that's it. It does pretty pretty cool things. Special Limited. Um, Hinterland Logger, I think. Flips over into 4-2 Trample. So, yeah. Oh, and a sweet insect token. I don't even really remember what that goes to. I think I said that last time. I don't remember the insect token. Guess I can put it, like, with... Ant Queen or something in the EDH deck. Okay. Uh, put something in the bottom of your library. Blood Thirsty. No, it's one of the. Discard a card to give it plus two, minus two. Not a clue. And uh, the ooze when it attacks, it makes a token of an ooze. Yeah. This is fun. Uh, Scarecrow of some kind. And a full lightning axe. That's actually really cool. Especially in Korean. So, yeah. That actually might be worth something. I don't know. Because you have to reprint. But uh, it sees play. It actually sees some play. Uh, I've seen it in some of the Gorio's Vengeance lists in Modern. Just as a discard outlet for Gristlebrand. And also can kill pretty much anything in the first couple turns. Even, you know, the huge Eldrazi guys. And that way you can pitch Gristlebrand in response to like a Thought Not Seer trigger, so they can't exile him. Uh, make sure wolves fight things. Or not fight things, just do damage to things, which is just better. Uh, the really good 3-1 lifelink that uh, you can exile from your graveyard for 2-1 once. It's really, really, really good and limited. Uh, this is a Scarecrow that you pay to sack, get a land, I think. And Nahiri, not just Nahiri, but Korean Nahiri. I think it'll probably still be in here in Korean because it being a made up name and all. Sweet. First Mythic. Awesome. Uh, Breakneck Rider. Oh! Triskaidekaphobia. It just says 13. Probably 13 Fear of. I don't I don't know. That That's amazing. There's no mana symbols in Korean that says Triskaidekaphobia. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That is so awesome. I'm going to put that just in the, the rare pile because it's cool. Also, like, I think the Cameo's journal entries in this uh, have different numbers on them, but I can't read. So, I mean, I haven't seen any of those yet, I don't think. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, Mythic, full, rare, same pack. Awesome. Uh, enchantment, plus one, plus one, and something. Uh, uncommon Dual Land. Uh, the Pale Rider of somewhere where you discard a card when you play him. He's a 3-3 for two, so pretty good. Uh, the really big zombie guy that um, 
Just plus one, plus one for each zombie in your yard, and I don't remember the last part, but yeah. I just put quit putting all the flip cards there because you know they're not really that they're not really that good. So so pack box going pretty good so far. Um, makes blockers deal damage to other blockers. Instant speed. Everybody discards, and I don't remember what this cool, really cool art though. Really like the art, by Anthony Plumbo. Uh, just an enchantment that gives plus three plus seven first strike, and Drown Yard Temple. So sweet card, really combos well with Git Rug. Uh, Werewolf. Randomly, I I need. I'm looking for Olivia, Soren, Jace, Gitrog, uh, Pump Sally, or can you give your humans double strike for four mana? Brings in a 2 2 zombie token when it enters the battlefield, and I don't know what that does. Uh, Butcher's Axe, or Murder's Axe, something like that, plus two, plus two. And Burn from Within. Pretty sweet, rare actually, especially limited. Not, I don't know if it's a constructs play, but makes things that are indestructible, not indestructible. So there's something. Flip werewolf, a and a spirit token. Just have to speak this up a little bit. As funny as it is for me to describe the uh, Korean cards, this is apparently according to Linky Zimit is the most ordered card of the entire set from his um, his store or whatever, because the people get in place it at a time. Uh, it's not expensive, obviously, but everybody. Really likes that card because apparently a lot of people in his area run uh, demonic pack dot decks. So yeah, bounce something. Ooh, uh, flash wolf, really cool. Uh, Uncommon blue green and ooh, uh, descend on the something. Descend on the sinful. Maybe that's it. Make a glittery. Make a dude or four four uh, angel would be. Whoa, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Korean full tireless tracker. So two fulls already. Both of them pretty good. Uh, two full rares, I mean. But yeah, that's awesome. I actually need a full tireless tracker for the cube, but I don't think I want it in Korean because that's a lot of words that do a lot of things. Like I might want to do a planeswalker because people usually quickly pick up what, what the planeswalkers do, but you know. Uh, get rid of a card from graveyard, put a 1-1 one, one spirit. Call the bloodline, scab guy, and eerie interlude. Uh, uninvited guest. Or geist, sorry. Geist, it's not guest. Uninvited geist. The play on words. It's supposed to be real, not misinterpreted. Or just misread, really. Devils. Uh, waxing moon. Uh, Silver Strike and uh, Invocation of Saint Traps. This is a really cool card, actually. Might might try and keep. I don't know. Making their thing attack, and then when you finally kill it, uh, you know you get to get a three four, all for one mana. Or like you can put it on your most important creature. That way, if they do kill it, not exile it, but kill it, uh, then you get a three four out of it. So really cool sack effects, I guess. You can put it on like a uh, secure tribe elder. Go get a land, get a 3-4. Gloom thing, uh, something, skeleton key. Brain in a jar. Pious something. That guy's really good and limited when you can uh, just out of nowhere just spew a bunch of guys out and then you sack something and then in combat, and this makes the combat map really hard for your opponent because anything that dies is just going to drain them uh, while you're gaining life the whole time and just really, really good stuff. Uh, Tooth Collector forget this thing it's like an edric type ability uh no idea and the silver fear something it's the last of the wolf fear sets out there uh yep and even the full rare um when it's hasty and when it flips whenever you play a werewolf i think it flips automatically sounds right i don't know 
Like I said, if I don't hurry up, it's gonna be really long, so. No idea. Uh, some concoction. Uh, Geist that investigates, or it makes you investigate double. Makes our stuff tap for any color mana. Uh, Village Messenger, which like I said, is in cube. I, I like it. Uh, I think this replaces uh, Reckless Wave. Unless you're going to try and support some kind of werewolf tribal, and then I guess you would play both. A lot of good red one drops now. A lot of good ones. Uh, good werewolf enchantment. And Audric. We're on the second stack now, by the way, so hopefully this video won't be 20 minutes long. Uh, yep. 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 And Soul Swallower. Nothing. So I've been pretty lucky in the uh, online pre-release events. I did the sealed events because they're awesome. Uh, but yeah, I've opened up... Uh, Avison once I went 5-0 and got a bunch of packs and points and then the next time I opened up Thing the Ice and Westville Abbey and the next time I opened up full Avison, Olivia and Westville Abbey. So I've had some pretty good luck opening stuff. There's another Tyler's Tracker. Sweet. And a Star Lord Awake. So double rare pack including Mythic. Star Lord Awake, limited bomb. Um, the mill person in me really wants to figure out a way to make that work. Um, Possibly in modern, of course, because things that mill that many cards are really good. But it costs four mana, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Angel. Totally forget what that one does. It was the promo. Aaron Falconrath. I'm going to put that in this stack because I slash need it. Uh, crappy dog. Full common. It's got something with delirium, maybe? So, three mana. Three one that does something. Looks like that card I've never cast, so I don't know. Once again, don't know. Incorrigible youth. Uh, yep. And the green white rare land. Good stuff. Wolf token. Uh, the rare land cycle I think is pretty good. The reveal type land. Or what do they call them? Shadow lands? Clue lands? I don't know. I guess you call them clue lands. this. Okay. This is bidding, no idea. Mad Prophet, and yep, that guy. Forget that guy's name. Absolutely forget it. So, so far I've had a couple mythics. One was very good, actually three mythics. Two were, one was very good, one was pretty good, and one was very meh. But it's okay, we're still going. That thing, uh, Lily Honest, oop, 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 thank it, Soren, Soren. Soren, Korean Soren, sweet. That's my that wants one of these, so great. Uh, Dusk Watch guy, really, really, really good in cube. And the sweet Avison clue token. Question is, how does she already have the red stained hair and stained glass? Like, you think it they wouldn't have time to make that before she killed everybody? Oh, there's a shiny back there. Focus. Uh, and Anguish and Making. Soren and his rare card. That thing, and ooh, full uncommon dual land. Sweet. Seriously, though. Taking a long time. Gonna go straight to the rare. Uh, forgotten something? Forgotten creation? Yep, yeah, straight to the rares. Has wasted uh, too much time already. Uh, ooh, uh, bounce all the stuff to instant speed, equal to islands. Ooh, and the handwear watchkeep, I think it's called a thing that uh, if you have five more creatures, it flips, and then once it flips, it's equal to the amount of creatures you have, and you make a dude every turn. So, get up there. There we go. Another. Shiny uh, Ever After. And that destroys a land or an artifact and does two damage to that thing's controller. I'm really in a hurry because I'm running out of time on this camera. I thought I'd have enough. Another four. Ooh, uh, 
does damage, double damage thing. Uh, Gold Knight Cascader. And a full Bad Wolf. Not Bad Wolf as in like, you know, Doctor Who or Bad Wolf MTG. But just a bad... That's just a fox. See there, that joke just really was bad when you don't remember creature types. It's a fox. It's not a wolf. Be much cooler if it was a wolf, actually. Lightning Axe. Uh, devil. Mixed Devils. Yep. Yep. Got about five minutes left of uh, the film. Or film. <laughs> There's no such thing as film anymore. Uh, recording space. And to the slaughter. Nada. To the slaughter is really good. I like that card. Big stack of packs of packs leaves over here. Or empty packs. Tamiya's journal. Really like that card. Nada. Of course you know the drill. When I'm doing this, I will probably just lay them all out with a little recap. Show what all we got. Miss something? Uh, ugh, no idea. It's probably not good though. Uh, there's that. Some kind of enchantment that you think might be good for Storm, but it's probably not. Or like a prowl deck? Yeah, still probably not. Bam. Uh, ooh, and a five Mandrakes. Not good. Token down. Got about five packs left to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these box openings. I know we can't read the cards, but we know what most of them are. So at least important ones. Boom. Alter Ego. Uncountable clone that can be bigger than the best thing on the board. You could also just cast it for four, by the way. Uncountable. Seems good. And different factor fiction type thing. Epiphany at the Drown Yard. Epiphany at the Drown Yard. I remembered. Not gonna make that pun. Don't have time. Boom. Uh, from the floorboards or something like that. Everett Researcher and Ancient of Something or Something of Ancient Lore. Flip Wormwolf that I think draws you cards. I don't remember. Another card I haven't opened yet, so just seen it in the set and haven't played against it yet. Uh, yeah. Mark up something really supposed to be a decent vampire, I guess. All right, two more packs. Got a couple minutes. It's just enough time for this and a recap. Get out of there. Ooh, bam. Uh, Brawler's Plate. Not good. Okay. Can we get Allen or Jace one time? Thing of nice, maybe? Focus. Oh gosh, like the worst mana rock ever. And a foil, um, not welcome to the ranks, but something like that. All right, be right back. Okay, bye. Back. Um, here's some of the foils we got, uh, including lightning axe. These are just, you know, random rares through here. There's a couple, you know, playable stuff and commander or maybe in standard. Um, what I think are definitely playable, we've got, uh, Drown Yard, is Drown Yard Temple? I think so. Uh, the Green White, uh, Reveal Land, To the Slaughter, uh, Piffany at the Drown Yard, and a Tireless Tracker, which there's a lot of play right now. And guess what? we got a full Tireless Tracker, so even better. Uh, Welcome to the Fold, is the name of this card I remembered. Didn't look it up, just remembered. Uh, full Triskaidekaphobia, so three full rares. Pretty sweet. Uh, the Mythics got Descend on the Sinful, uh, Startled Awake, Gold Knight Castigator, and the big two, I'm sorry, oh, look at that rare, rare got stuck in there, Anguished and Making, look at all that planning for naught. Anyway, the big two, uh, Nahiri and Soren, they don't like each other, for good reason, well, I guess, but anyway, love the art on both of them, this one more, this one's okay, not my favorite one, but this art is amazing, and I think they'll both see some play. So, anyway, box was really good, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, sorry it's in Korean. I can't read them all, but like I said, we, we know most of the cards. So, like I said, hope you enjoy it, and be sure and check out my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.